Mega Bucks here. So, welcome to Market Monday. First, we're going to go through the Team of the Week cards, and we're getting Greg Jennings back. 92 speed on him, deep route running over 90 also. I got to say, not bad, right? He reminds me of the famous Madden video, I'm sure a lot of you, too, of Greg Jennings and his broken leg scores in the Saints. Let's just take a little little link or listen Greg, into it. caught that shit. He probably last played the game. But, dog, earlier, though, the nigga broke his fucking leg. How is he running with a broken leg? Look at this nigga holding his shit, though. Dog, he put the team on his back. Dog, let's go inside the mind of a Greg Jennings. Dog, I gotta do this shit. I put the team on my fucking back, though. My leg broke. I don't know how the fuck I'm running right now, though. I'll do this shit for Madden. Oh, shit. Darren Sharper. One of the most hardest hitting safeties in the league. But I put the team on my back, dude. Fuck it. You can't stop me. Cross the plane. Touch. All time classic. Greg Jennings. So, no injuries in Mutt, so we can't replicate that going forward. But Greg Jennings. <sighs> Put the team on his back. Let's take a, a, a word from our sponsor first. Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden 21 Nailed coins. It. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 15% off. Okay, so Rock Bottom Coins is uh, also doing another special this, you know, during Blitz this weekend. I think the first part of the weekend for like on like Thanksgiving. I uh, just want to let you guys know they're offering everything. They told me to read this off. Well, not told. They asked me if I could. Coins training, uh, IRL signed jerseys, including packages where people can get a triple threat. Quarterback, wide receiver, halfback, or pick six, corner, safety, or coins training, blitz bolts all in one. So, there you go. They got another special, kind of like Fox Day, but uh, it's over the, it's blitz themed with a lot of blitz uh, offers and stuff this uh, Thursday and Friday, I believe it is. Uh, one of those two days. I don't have the exact time done, but we'll let you know later in the week. Antrell Roll. 92 speed. So a cornerback again, right? We've gotten a cornerback. We've gotten over 90, over a 90 or over, over, overall cornerback every day. Well, seven of the last eight days. Am I right? Right? Did we get a wait? We didn't get a corner this weekend, did we? What were our legends? Yeah, we got a corner. We got a, we got a DB. We got a free safety. So of the last eight days since last Monday, six of the last eight days. The other day was a CB or a free safety. Hilarious. <laughs> I don't know, man. We got a lot. Antro War, like another another DB for the Cardinals theme team, which was already insane with DBs. Um, as for which teams that go on Antro Roll goes on the Giants and Chicago. So in addition to Arizona, so those theme teams get boosts. And Greg Jennings goes Minnesota and Miami. So Miami, one of the better theme teams, also gets another boost. Not bad overall. I I, I don't mind them at all. Okay, so with that. I talked a lot about the Blitz promo on my Blitz promo preview video. I'll just do a, like, a, like watch that video, but here's a quick recap. Um, they're going to give us all the info ahead of time. Wait, that's not the right sheet. Um, it's an investment promo. It's not going to be a solo grinding promo. Uh, it's going to be pack buying, but if you don't buy packs, you need to be investing because you can make some very, very, very nice coins off of it. Um, everyone in the comment section was like, draw green or Daryl Greenmaster. I'm like, yeah, Daryl Greenmaster would be great. Uh, in addition to like Tyree Kill as like a, a, a wide receiver card makes a lot of sense to me. If you're making investments, good luck. A lot of people are investing in Tyree Kill's card. It doesn't mean he can't come out with insane stats and blow it out of the water, right? It doesn't mean he can't come out with like 95 speed and then instantly become like the best wide receiver by a large margin in this game. And just blow us out like, oh, everybody's investing in Tyreek Hill. If Tyreek Hill comes out with those stats, it's just, it's just, it's just different, right? He's just built different. So, still gonna happen, right? Go up to 99 speed. Got it. They need to go over 100 this year. Uh, do your blitz bolt solos. Yeah. All right. Now onto the regular market Monday uh, off of blitz because we did that already. Definitely look at that. For investing in cards and, and making coins once they're in packs. Buy cards when they're supplied. Here's here's an example, all right? What, what I'm trying to talk about. Buy cards when they're being supplied and then sell them when they're out of packs. Okay. So if we look at Griffin from over the weekend. So I said on stream, hey, 
generally le limited legends are good investments. It was like, oh, really? Should I buy one? Should I buy one? I'm like, whatever your risk tolerance is. He was going for 500K when people were like, oh, should I buy one? Should I buy one? I don't know, man. I don't know. Should I buy one? And now he's 687. Now he's been out of packs for a couple days. And it just happens with good limiteds that just go up when they're out of packs. So I'm sure a lot of people are trying to liquidate their investment right now. But for like sitting on a card for like a day or two, you made 100K plus. Not bad. Not bad. You bought a 500K, sold at 687, sitting on a card for a day, just like one day longer. So yes, that's what I'm trying to illustrate. But of course, they have to be the good cards that people want, right? You wouldn't do the same investment. And this is probably a bad one because Breeze did impact a day longer than he should have. But like, you wouldn't do that same thing with Drew Brees because he's like, okay, right? It's it's just Drew Brees. It's an immobile quarterback that we've had, I got like six of them of. Hot Rod Master. He doesn't break into a new threshold for power level, for abilities. So he's just like, I don't like there, right? So like, it's gotta be a good card. And those are the ones that I always say invest in good cards because those are the ones that people want. The demand will continue throughout after they're out of packs. Um, and uh, I just want to kind of illustrate that point of investments, okay? Market Monday makes sense to me. So, master set, and I, I talk about sets a lot of ways of making coins. I don't love going over sets and pointing out exactly which ones are profitable because that means a lot of people are going to hit those exact sets and then not make them profitable. But this one kind of already shot its wad. Both the Tony Romo, which I talked about last week, which shot its wad pretty quick, in Night Train Lane, right? You were able to buy cards, and I talked about arbitrage so often, you guys should be sick of it by now. Buy cards at lower training ratios or, or leaf ratios and then convert them to expensive ratios, right? Whatever, what, uh, we don't know, I don't know exact prices, but it's like, what, 330 right now? Let's take a look at Night Train Lane. But anyways, when you bought, like, when, when everybody was ripping for 85s, shout out to, B-Spec's the one that pointed this out, right? We always talk about that, but he pointed out his exact method. He made 1.5 million coins before he got bored of doing it. Um, and then, like, no new packs hit with Legend, and it kind of went away because Nitro and Lane's price fell uh, the next day. But it was just buying up 85s that people were listing super cheap, make rolling the Nitro and Lane set, and selling. And he was making a killing, right? So those are things you need to look at on the market. Now, I'm not, I, like, I could point to sets right now, right? These team standout sets have been crazy resilient. People love these team standouts. Wait. Team standouts, resilient, solid, okay. Team builders, solid, resilient, okay. Let's take a look at what an 88 overall team builder is going for. We'll see if we can't snipe a few. I got too many guys in my binder, but we'll see if that's, uh, it's been pretty decent for profit. Let's look at uh, 88. Come on. So definitely these are things you want to check out, and I, I don't know if there's a ton of profit left in these because he's been kind of good for a while but team standouts 88 let's say standout or builder standouts for 46 those are the team of the week i'd have to, I'd have to add those up um there no no am i blind i'm, I'm legitimately blind diamonds standouts builders it's above a delay all right 45 46 and then you could probably get one higher than this if you just go to like up here, right? 50K, all right? Easy, 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 these things. Just bought for 46, okay? Slayton, Slayton himself. For, just sell for 46, all right. So if you if you look at it, what? It's an 85, and this is gonna be unfiltered. So you can easily snipe lower than I see it right here because it's unfiltered. Never buy cards unfiltered. 19K plus... So round out to 20k, even though that's dumb because rounding's gonna get us not a lot of coins. And you're gonna be like, oh, this doesn't work. It's because I'm I'm doing terrible. Uh, 11k times two, okay, well, that's too much. You could easily find a 83s under 10k. Besides the point, but it's 22k plus 20, which is 42, and then the 80s are for uh 4.5. All right, so that didn't really work out. <laughs> you build it for like 48 unfiltered. But then when you filter down, I'll just I'll just show you a filter on an 85. It was like, oh, that doesn't work. And then you just filter down a little bit. And let's see what 85s actually go for. For profitable sets. 17K instead of 19. What did I say it was unfiltered? 
I don't know if that's even the best one to get. 18.7. 19. All right, well, I give up. I give up, damn it. I'm not filtering right. All right, 83. What's what's a nice little cheap 83 we can try and find here to show how much it costs? 9K. Didn't I say those? Didn't I say it was 11K? 9.7. There. Little little better that you can add them to the sets for. 8.5 filtered for. So that's what I'm trying to say. Building sets. Still okay. Still okay. But uh, definitely something you want to keep go looking through. Those ones, those standouts have been surprising resilient along with, I mean, I actually didn't look at uh, what those standouts are actually priced at right now. How much does it take to do Josh Allen set? Um, an 86 to 88, a few 80, yeah. Do up this math too. I got so many I can just do an Allen right now. Do them real good. But I'm trying to talk to you and trying to say something to look out for on with the, the market and the blitz coming on a Thursday night, 8 p.m., uh, pretty good. So look through the sets. Try and stack coins, right? I saw a lot of people's videos yesterday saying, hey, I got 30,000 coins. Can you upgrade my team? It's 90 overall. It's like, no, I can't, right? Make some coins. Do some solo battles. Do some solos. Grind. If you have any money, put it into the level packs, right? If you have $3, get the coins from these. Otherwise, another good one is training rerolls. So 250 for a base stadium fantasy pack or coaches fantasy or uniforms. 250. How much does 250 cost? 250 times you can get training at probably under 13. We'll say 13. 3200 for one of those. Okay. So 3200. This is like a low coin method. And I've said this before. I've said this for, this has been years this has worked. And it still worked all year. Oh, sorry that the uh, stuff's still on, still on screen from stream earlier. I rage quit stream earlier because I was just getting bullshit with Madden. My user just like froze in the middle of a play. I just I just turned it off. I couldn't understand it. So anyways, you go over there and you're like, oh, what, what should I look at? What should I look at? Stadiums? Oh my God, it cost me 3200 to make it. I could sell it for 5500 Crazy. All right. Same thing. Playbooks. Playbooks only go for 150. 150 times 13 is like, we'll just say 2,000 and sell for 33, 3,500. All right, uniforms, 5,000 cost you 3,200 to make it. So there's coins out there. Market Monday, finding yet. Take a look into sets, into these rolls, into the master sets. Of course, they're not as profitable. Four days after they come out, but I do market Mondays. I don't do market promo day. Although I will talk about market coin making opportunities on stream and in my market recap video, or sorry, my promo recap videos I do. But I just want to let you guys know that's how you stay ahead of it. Don't wait for a video from me. Get on the grind yourselves. Be self sufficient, and you guys can dominate. I have the faith in you. Okay. Um. Anything else I want to talk about in market Monday? Oh yeah, if you don't sell off by Thursday. I wouldn't worry about it, right? So I got a lot of stuff in my mind I got to sell. I'm hoping to get back up over 20 mil. I just don't know what team I want to run with going forward, right? I just don't know who I want to sell and what I want to keep on my team. Chris, currently I'm running a Steelers Cardinals theme team. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'll stick with Cardinals going forward, but like it's hard to go 225, so I can't keep my God squad going. I can't have everybody, I can't be showing off all the dudes. Um, so. I don't know. Maybe I'll keep on the 25 out of 50 Steelers, 20, go 25 out of 50 Niners, Cardinals. I actually don't know what to do going forward. But it is fun having these opportunities, these chances, and these differences um, and, and a lot of different cards that I'm using. But yeah, stack coins, make coins, try and win games if you can't avoid the DC glitch, which I know people have said there's our ways, but I don't know if they're how consistent they are. I haven't really tested it myself. But uh, yeah, that's kind of it for Market Monday. Good luck. Blitz should crash it until the next week. So that's what I say. If you haven't, if you don't sell off by Thursday, don't worry about it. The series sell-offs are like more permanent uh, damage to the market overall. But uh, expect expect prices to keep dropping for a little bit into the early part of December uh, with the series probably coming the, what did I say, 4th, 11th-ish area? Probably the 11th. 
All right, thanks for watching all the action. I hope you guys enjoyed Market Monday. Again, watch the Blitz promo for more market tips from yesterday morning. Thanks for watching all the action. See you tomorrow.